Hi again, and welcome to this week's edition of your Wheel and Anchor weekly newsletter. We're getting all ready this week for our upcoming Future Travel Forum, which is going to happen this coming Thursday, August the 27th at 11 o'clock. The idea is that we're going to be um, taking a look a little bit into what the future of travel uh, might look like um, from a logistics, from an operational standpoint. In other words, the, some of the measures that we um, plan to be taking, or at least plan to plan to be taking because there's still so many unknowns um, when sort of uh, borders are open and, and um, it's time to get traveling again. So we're going to spend a little bit of time and we'd like very much to get feedback from you as well in terms of the types of concerns that you would have um, when embarking on, on that first trip, whenever that may be. Uh, and uh, we're certainly going to be Taking, uh, taking you through some of the research that we've done uh, and, uh, and, and, as I say, some of the, uh, the proposed measures that we're looking at. So that'll be one aspect of it. Um, and, of course, a, a very important aspect for us to get feedback from you, our members. Um, and then geographically speaking, um, we're going to be looking at, um, uh, in our, the first episode of our Future Travel Forum, we're going to be looking at um, Northern Europe, the UK, and Ireland. Um, and specifically, um, I, I have some ideas up my sleeve on how we might actually travel um, to these places. And um, the idea of mini long stay comes up. And of course, as we discussed a, a couple of weeks ago, um, we're very much working hard on our long stay holiday programs where you stay three, four weeks or longer in one place. Um, but there's perhaps another way to do that um, where we can um, visit a larger part of a region and still have some of the benefits of a long stay, in other words, staying actually in one place for um, several nights, um, and then combining um, the free time um, with uh, the, the organized aspect of the trip. And I think that a lot of our members commented um, about how much they appreciated the, the leisure time that we incorporate into our trips. Uh, and I think that the future um, will probably see a, a demand for a lot, that, a lot more kinds of things. So specifically with Northern Europe, we're going to be looking at um, the Scandinavian region, um, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, uh, and um, some of the wonderful places to visit there. Um, we're also going to look at a, a sub-region, which we're going to say is Germany and the Benelux countries. So um, those include uh, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. Uh, and uh, there's some really wonderful cities that we could stay in for uh, a bit of time uh, and explore a lot of that region because, of course, it's very compressed. There's a lot you can see um, in a day trip. Uh, and then, of course, the UK and Ireland speak for themselves. Um, we're going to look at um, uh, Britain and Scotland and Wales, of course, uh, and, uh, and also at Ireland and, and how we can, again, a little bit reinvent how it is that we uh, enjoy those uh, kinds of destinations. So that's all coming up in our future travel forum. Um, it'll be an interactive session, so it's very much about getting impact, uh, in, input from you, um, our members, in terms of what you want to see, how you want to see it, and again, the, your thoughts um, in as we go through this pandemic and hopefully head towards a point in time where we can all travel together again. So I look forward very much to seeing you there. There's a link to register in the webinar below. We've had great response so far. So of course, the more the merrier. Please do come out and join us. Uh, and in the meantime, stay well. And I look forward to catching up with you again next week.